Welcome to Rudy Fish. Today I'm fishing with my cousin Mark down at Lower Tamar Lake. I've never fished here before. Mark's fished here a few times before. He's been down here after the carp. But today Mark's targeting bream, I'm targeting roach. Got down here nice and early, had a look around the lake, saw quite a few fish topping, decided to pick a couple of swims, got the old marker float out, trying to find a bit of clear ground, because it is quite weedy down here, but now it's December, so it's a lot of the weeds died back, but had a sort of a good old feel around the marker rod. Found a nice sort of clear patch, not too far out. It's about seven and a half wraps out, so not too far, not that deep. It's probably five foot deepish, something like that. So not as deep as I'd like it this time of year, but you got a nice clear spot. So we're going to try that, see what happens. Tactic wise, doing mini carp fishing really. Got two pound and a half test curve rods and two mini bait runners. <coughs> And on the business end, I'm going to use maggot feeders on a helicopter rig. Never really used it before, but then we're looking online. That's what sort of everyone seems to be using for, for roach fishing. I've got a method feeder as well. I'm going to try that. If I keep getting pestered by little stuff, I'll put a method feeder out on one and see if that's what will pick out the bigger stuff. So I've been spotted out a bit of ground bait as well when I first got here. Been got a, like, a, like a hemp ground bait with maggots in there, hemp as well, and a bit of sweet corn been spotting that out as well so hopefully that will bring the fish in so plan for the day is to spot some of these out every so often but then keep the maggot feeders going out so that hopefully build a nice area of bait and sort of bring some fish in but see what we can do sort of it's a new venue it's a new tactics and I'm not really keeping my hopes up but you know if even if I catch fish it sort of shows it's all working but I shall get the rods out and have a go see what I can do I've been fishing here all morning and had no luck. Luckily, if I've just had one fish now, not what I was expecting, but saved my blank. Just resting there, I'll just grab him out a second. There you go, but I'm expecting a nice little bounce trout on the on the helicopter rig maggot feeder. Not what I was after, but any fish will do for me really. Saves a blank. I shall get some back and try and get some roach out. I just had my second fish today, not long after I had that trout. I, I thought it was another trout first of all. I just, he's resting in there, I'll just get him out. Let's have a look. Had this lovely roach, new PB of one pound eight. It's on the maggot feeder on the heli rig. First roach of the day. Hopefully, there's going to be some out there. Hopefully, bigger. But lovely colours on that. Stunning. Really pleased with that. Actually, getting back and hopefully get another one soon. Well, that's my fishing done for today. In the car, all packed up. Fished about an hour into dark. Had a few more little knocks, but no fish on. It's been an interesting day, really. Sort of only had the two fish. Didn't, didn't, I thought I was going to get be played by loads of little fish, but sort of never happened. But I was pleased with the two fish. Sort of brown trout was always good to catch, and that lovely roach was really nice. But it's more of a learning day for me today. Sort of fishing a new venue, fishing a new tactic. Sort of learned a lot. So, brought quite a lot of stuff down with me so next time I come down we'll try this type of fish and I won't bring as much stuff and sort of hopefully it will work out a bit better but yeah really enjoyed today sort of pleased with how it went yeah so thanks for watching see you soon